Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is November 15, 2021. Let's do a quick look at TTM Squeeze. TTM Squeeze is an indicator by John Carter that tells you when a stock is going to go out of the trading range, go higher or go lower pretty quickly. In this segment, we'll look at stock that can go higher quickly and take it from there. Let's do a quick market update. Look at overall TTM squeeze here, stocks breaking out of trading range. Then look at low debt candidates. I know many of you are conservative. You want to look at low debt candidates, which still have room to run. And then finally, let's look at TTM squeeze. When the TTM squeeze meets the short ratio, this is when you know uh, strange things will happen. Stock can go high quickly or low quickly. Let's look at some of those candidates and take it from there. From a quick market update perspective, as you can see here, all the major indices went up nicely on Friday. Dow Jones up nicely, Nasdaq up nicely, as well as S&P 500 up, up nicely here. And from a news perspective, our friend Elon Musk sells another 1.2 billion Tesla stock that's under pressure right now. At the same time, you got uh, Jeff Bezos from Amazon. Uh, you know, Amazon is uh, making a good stake in Rivian. It's a electric vehicle light truck manufacturer here. You can see the contrast here. Musk selling, Amazon buying Rivian. So Riv Rivian is a competitive competitor formidable competitor for Tesla going forward and a lot of workers quit the jobs because they can get a high paying job easily with the labor shortage and consumer sentiment is uh, 10 year low here a lot of the goods and merchandise in the shops are expensive many times you don't find the items that you look for so we got to be careful here inflation remains red hot here We'll see as Walmart reports, they will uh, throw some lights on this. And then we got mall stocks here. They're back in the fashion here. Uh, they're going higher. Uh, last year, we kind of wrote off these mall stocks in the height of COVID, uh, you know, um, COVID uh, inflection. So now we'll see how it goes. Many of these mall stocks are very attractive. So with that, let's jump in here and look at the market action. So as you look through futures market, futures are trending higher. S&P 500 higher by 15 points. Uh, NASDAQ higher by 61, as you can see here. And Dow Jones up nicely, 133 points. Russell is up nicely, 13 points. All these major indices are all almost at their all-time high. That's why you got to be selective and buy some great stocks instead of buying this ETF outright. So with that, let's jump in here and look at a few stocks. So before we jump into stocks here, let's, uh, you know, for many of you, you might need a quick refresher on what is TTM Squeeze. TTM Squeeze is an indicator by John Carter that tells you when a stock is going to higher or lower pretty quickly. In the sense, it's going to go out of its trading range and go higher or lower quickly. So we got a TTM squeeze chart here. You can look for one of my videos that explains you what is TTM squeeze and uh, how to uh, use the TTM squeeze and set it up on Thinkorswim platform. So in, in a nutshell, in the TTM squeeze, you look at the first chart below here uh, under the stock chart here. When you see a red dot, that tells you at this time there's a tight volatility compression. Bollinger Band is inside the Kelton channel. So that tells you, hey, you know what? Energy has to be released um, as you go forward. So after you see a red dot or a series of red dot, the first green dot that tells you energy is ready to be released. Stock has to go higher or lower pretty quickly. So now you got to understand where it's go. Is it going to high, go high or low? For that, we got this longer term C wave here. If the longer term C wave is above the zero line, this being the zero line here, then there is a high chance this stock is going to go higher. That's why that's what we got to look at. And the stock is uh, uh, when there is a green dot after a series of red dot. Watch uh, the long term C wave here. If that's above zero, you can go long. So I like to look at multiple time frame here. I got a one day. A three day, one week, and one month. So that way, I get a good idea where is the stock coming from. From a wave perspective, we got a short term wave. Yellow is bullish, um, red is bearish. Long term C wave, 
Uh, light blue is bullish and dark blue is bearish. So that's the quick indication for you. Uh, you could follow along and go from there. And from a you know squeeze perspective, first we look at um, all the stocks with the volume greater than one million, highest volume on the top. So that way you look at the liquid stocks to begin with, and low RSI. That means stock is sold off here in the short term in a 14-day time frame, and it's uh, ready to you know bounce back. And low volatility means uh, right now volatility volatility is at a compressed level, coupled with the low RSI. Its uh, stock uh, has a high chance of going higher. So that's why these are breaking out of trading range right now. And we could uh, make some trade here. So with that, we got here a list of stocks here. Top of this is Carnival Cruise Line. Keep watching. Uh, RSI is low, below 50. And IV percentile is low. That tells you low IV. And as you look through here, stock is uh, down 29% in one year. And we got a weekly squeeze. So when this happens, you could uh, you know look at the chart here and see if it's worth buying Carnival Cruise into this weakness. Let's go to Thinkorswim platform from TD Ameritrade here. Let's bring up a you know say a chart here and look at Carnival Cruise quickly and go from there. So as you look through Carnival Cruise here, uh, keep watching. We got um, um, you know the. RSI here, a little bit trending lower. Uh, that tells you stock is coming down a little bit, as you can see here. And we got uh, DMI chart. You know, I love this chart all the time. Uh, whenever you see a gray, blue line um, crossing below the red line here, like you see here, that tells you right now it's in a bearish territory. It's a bearish crossover. A blue line crossing below the red line, red line crossing above the blue line. Right now, it's a bearish crossover. And as you look through here, a volume uh, on the balance volume is trending lower. But keep watching um, here, a check in money flow indicating smart money flowing into the stock. It's pretty stable here. So now what we'll do is, uh, you know, from a chart perspective, chart is ugly a little bit, but smart money is flowing into the stock, indicating folks are buying into this weakness, positioning themselves for a uptrend later. Now let's uh, look at. Uh, um, TTM squeeze chart here, see what we can make out. So as you look through TTM squeeze chart, um, uh, look here, we got a three-day three day chart here. We got a squeeze forming here in three-day chart with a red dot here. Tight volat compression of volatility. Bollinger band is within the Colton channel. When that happens, keep watching the longer term C wave. It's below zero. That tells you right now it's uh, bearish, not a perfect setup to buy the stock. At the same time, you got a squeeze in the weekly chart, as you can see here. When that happens, keep watching here. Longer term C wave is below zero. So by looking at this, uh, you could you should also look at the trend uh, of the wave here, how the wave is curving. As you look through here, uh, the longer term C wave, C wave is, uh, I think it's kind of, you know, you have to squint here, trying to curve up here. That means it's uh, you know, getting better. And as you look through longer term wave here, the monthly wave, it's also kind of trending up here. Um, you know, I think it's also a little bit positive sentiment. So with that, you know, you could uh, slowly start, uh, you know, buying Carnival Cruise Line. Even though it's not a perfect setup, I also like to look at the shape of the wave here. And given the stock is already depressed, the wave of shape of the wave is indicating there is a chance it can go higher. So you can be contrarian here and buy some Carnival Cruise as it uh, comes down. As more and more people are taking these uh, COVID shots, there's a good chance Carnival Cruise can go higher. So with that, let's jump in and look at uh, one or two more and take it from there. And then you've got Uber here, $45 stock as you can see here. Uh, nice uh, sales here, nice sales growth also. And as you look through here, low debt 0.7, it's manageable. Um, RSI is low, IV percentile is also low, and it's uh, it's actually bouncing back. This is one more tell. As you see a stock that's uh, bouncing in the shorter term time frame, and there's a squeeze that tells you this is going to go higher. So we could look at Uber and see what we can do in Uber here. Let's go back to Thinkorswim platform, bring up Uber. So as we look through Uber here, as we looked at, we got a squeeze uh, dot here, red dot in the daily chart. When that's happening, keep watching the longer term C wave. It's uh, showing some strength as you can see here. It was uh, 
you know right now it's below but it's barely below and stock is also trying to make some progress here in one day chart so you could uh, take a cue or a hint on this one and buy some uber stock at these levels here and as you look through the longer term waves here keep watching longer term month monthly wave is still about zero that tells you that it's a good chance this stock can go higher and if you look at the weekly here it's also curving up here so you could uh, read these tea leaves and even here if you look here um, a th three day chart here it's above zero you could uh, look at these uh, you know these indicators here and uh, buy some uber and take it from there and let's look at maybe one more here and go from there uh, we could look at uh, it maybe uh, as we look through here we got a lot of great stocks here keep watching here we got weekly monthly let's look at one with the monthly here i would probably skip cgsp it's a little high price stock here let's go to the next slide here and let's uh, see good rx good rx uh, 41 dollar stock here as you look through we got a three day squeeze here let's look at good rx and go from there good rx as you look through here um we got a squeeze in the uh, two day chart uh, three day chart as you can see here when the squeeze is forming the longer term c wave is about zero you, you could uh, that's a positive indication here and the monthly squeeze it's barely forming right now and it's curving up here that's also a good sign so you could uh, buy the stock or uh, buy the call option if you want to buy the call option good rx um, you might be already knowing this you could bring up good rx here i like to go maybe 150 days out uh, stock being at one for at forty one dollars, all time high is fifty nine dollars. You could uh, do an in out spread, uh, or you could do a delta seventy call option. If you want to buy a delta seventy call option, you could just go here, look at the delta seventy around sixty eight will work here. You could uh, pay eight dollars and thirty cents and buy this call option here, which is which is expiring in the fourteenth of April next year. Confirm and send. You're paying uh, $830. Your break even price is 45, which is just above a couple of dollars above the current stock price. As the stock goes up by $1, your uh, option call option will go up by uh, 68 cents. That's the delta here. Uh, that's a great trade. You could uh, go from there. And if you do want to spend, uh, you know, $830, or you're a little more uh, conservative, you could. Uh, look at the spreading strategy you could the stock being at 41 you could buy 35 45 spread so we'll go here 35 and you could buy a 35 45 vertical spread here and go from there there you go you are paying 475 it's a 10 dollar wide spread the remaining portion of the 10 dollars which is uh, 5 dollars and 25 cents is your profit profit here and um, you know you are m more than doubling your money here which is also a great trade here as you can see here uh, you're paying 475 to make 525 you know that's a good trade here um, you know uh, it's a conservative play keep watching here stock price is at 41 your break even point is 39 that's why it's a conservative play your break even point is below the current stock price and stock is trending higher i think this is a good trade to take and go from there if we look at maybe one more here take it from there so you know this is where we got we look at uh, ttm squeeze um, and let's look at next indication here next chart is all about uh, volume greater than one mil highest volume on top low rsi coupled with the low debt to equity ratio uh, so many folks want to be conservative they don't want to take chance with the high debt to equity ratio they want to make sure company is solid so that's why we look at this debt to equity ratio here make sure it's a bill point eight here as you look through here we've got a couple more stocks here uh, keep watching here all great stocks and keep watching one day here if the stock is bouncing in one day there's a great chance that it can go higher as you watch through here we got a couple of great stocks if you were to pick one or two you know i would say um, keep watching here uh, maybe right one clean energy here just eight dollar stock here uh, as you scan through it's uh, turning positive in five day barely and uh, it's done great in one year five year as you see here and down 56 percent it's got a squeeze in both three day as well as one week so you could take a look at uh, clean energy here clne and go from there 
So let's do one thing. Let's go to squeeze chart here and look at CLNE. There you go. CLNE, as we looked at here, we got a squeeze forming in the daily chart here. And the squeeze is forming longer term C wave is above zero. Line here 0 0.55, that's more than zero. And as you look through here in the three day chart here, squeeze forming. Um, here we got a red dot here. When that's happening, look here, longer term C wave is above zero and uh, light blue meaning bullish. And we got a squeeze forming in a five day chart or a weekly chart here. When that's forming, I think right now as we squint here, wave is curving higher here. That's a good sign here. There is, um, so overall, as you look through here in the longer term monthly here, there's no squeeze, but the trend, uh, the line C wave is about zero here. A little bit bearish as you see here trending down here, but still it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, uh, about zero here. So with that, you could take a cue here and try to look at the option chain here and go from there. It's clean energy, um, $8 stock, all time high was $19 in 52 week high here. You could go here 122, 123 days out here. Stock being cheap here, you could buy the stock outright here. That's a, always a great option. Uh, or you could buy some Delta 70 call here. You could go right here, Delta 70, 65 here. You could pay $1.75, buy this long term, 18th March, 2022 and confirm and send as you can see here you are paying 175 dollars that's your max loss also if the stock goes above nine dollars 75 cents by 18 march you'll make money or you'll break even so with that uh, every movement in stock you know by one dollar your stock your option will go call option will go up by 65 cents that's indicated by delta here so with that, if you don't want to spend uh, too much money or you're conservative, you could do a spreading strategy here. Stock being at $8, you could, um, you know, probably buy um, a spread uh, between, uh, say, I would say, you know, maybe say 6 and uh, uh, $13. That could be a good spread for you to look at. So let's do here 6 and 13 There you go. You are paying two two hundred and two dollars and fifty fifty cents. It's a ten dollar wide spread here. The remaining portion of the spread here, oh, it's actually five dollar spread here. Uh, it's uh, not even five. It's a uh, it is a seven dollar spread here. The remaining portion is your profit potential. As you see here, you are paying uh, two fifty to make four fifty. Your break even is below stock price here. Your break even is eight fifty. It's a conservative strategy. Your max profit is uh, capped at 450, but good way to double your almost double your money. Uh, you, you know, it's actually more than doubling your money, and take it from there. So with that, let's uh, you know probably look at one more and go from there. So next, next is really around uh, you know when TTM squeeze meets the high short ratio, these stocks got to move and they got to move quickly. As you look through here, we got stocks with the high short ratio at the top here. Um, good rx ysg clover twinkle and uh, you know we got one more here ion Just keep watching here if the stock is uh, making a huge great move here like ysg i would let it pass here i would not chase that but stocks like good rx that we looked at already or even clover for that matter you could uh, you could uh, buy into this uh, stock here clover being very low price stock here good rx we already talked about it and think you know twnk hostess here again here it's a trying to turn around here and same story with io you could take advantage of this situation here given the rsi is low iv percentile is low you could uh, you know buy some of these stocks here and you know expect a nice uh, turn around pretty quickly one thing to note here io here io has gone up pretty nicely in one year uh, so you might uh, you know you if you're a conservative if you're a conservative player you could sp skip io but if you're a contrarian you could uh, buy some io here and uh, you know expect a you know squeeze as you go forward so with that uh, thank you very much happy investing and trading please subscribe